Welcome to the AI show Fast Facts. Nvidia reported strong earnings for the quarter ending 31st July, with both revenue and profits exceeding consensus estimates. However, investor expectations were high and data center revenue came in slightly below forecast. Sandeep, what are your key takeaways for the AI industry from the results? Without taking single company views, we have three key takeaways for the AI industry. First, AI compute demand remains strong in the near term, supported by solid AI capex spending from the big four, neo clouds, and sovereign and enterprise AI customers. Second, consistent with our view, the tariff impact appears manageable for the AI industry given the strong policy support from the US administration. And third, contribution from China is on a declining path for the US AI chip companies due to near term geopolitical uncertainties. What is the latest update on China's AI chip demand? On this topic, the situation remains fluid. While the approval process in terms of resumption of AI chip licenses to China seems to be on track uh, from the US side, which is subject to the 15% revenue sharing, from China's side, new security issues have been raised, creating near-term uncertainties. Separately, DeepSeek's recent software first and open source pushed by creating its own AI floating point standards for AI chips should create interesting opportunities for domestic AI chip companies in China. Now, against this backdrop, while we don't rule out the normalization of AI chip demand in China, the path towards China's AI self-sufficiency appears a more practical solution at the moment. What are the next key events to monitor for the AI industry? Now, there is no depth of action in the AI industry over the next few quarters. As you can see in the chart, in the near term, focus remains more on macro drivers like rate cuts, tariffs, and geopolitics. But as we approach the end of the year, focus should shift to results and 2026 guidance, including new product rollouts and what they mean to competition in AI. Now, along the way, investors should also be prepared for regular updates on AI model upgrades and AI adoption rates. So clearly, exciting times ahead. How should investors position after the latest set of results? We believe the case for double-digit returns for our AA theme is intact, um, thanks to the strong underlying EPS growth. However, given the rich tech valuations, we continue to maintain balanced positioning across semiconductors, software, and internet. Meanwhile, as you can see in the chart, investors can also rebalance their exposure by looking at the AA sensitivity of some of the key tech stocks where we believe companies with medium AA sensitivity currently offer the best risk reward in terms of both EPS growth and also valuation. Thanks indeed. See you and AI in the future.